to all my teachers out here in these streets, all my teachers. Now, damn it, I have been kind of promoting this right here from about the beginning of the school year or whenever I had them found out like a few months ago to where um, if you is a teacher, certain states and certain counties, municipalities, they was needing teachers so bad that they was, they had done, I forgot who put out that you can come back and be a teacher and still get your retirement and or the, get get your pension. You can continue to get your pension, retirement, and all that fly stuff right there if you just come back and be a teacher because it's hard out here and we need teachers. Now we got a problem. We got a problem out here. Any dog on streets, retired teachers now have to pay back thousands of dollars. I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched about two minutes of it. I don't like what had done happen. Here we go. Recently, New Mexico has asked retired teachers to come back to work New Mexico. to help ease the state's teacher shortage. Yeah, now some who answered that call are being asked to repay thousands, tens of thousands in some cases. Our Target 7 investigation team explains why and where the money is going back to. Last year, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham signed a new law that allows retired teachers to return to work without losing their benefits. It's a calling for me. I've retired several times and I just keep on coming back. Hey, baby, baby, don't retire multiple times. She out here playing. She getting her paper and then she retire again. She come on back. Go ahead, baby. And V Hill from mm. Santa Fe was coming back to work even before the law was signed. Mm. And more than 4,000 retired teachers yeah. followed her lead. Well, they 4,000 came back. They did this ability because of the vacancies and they wanted to attract people back in and your standard of living can really change if you're getting your retirement and getting a salary. But Target 7 has learned that dozens of teachers are being forced to repay thousands of dollars of retirement money they were receiving while coming back to work. Mm. And it's all over this form. There's actually a document that they sign off on acknowledging when they return to work, they do have to receive permission from ERB before before doing so. You say that that's a map. David Archuleta Jesus. is the director of the Education Retirement Board, also known as ERB. He says the form is needed so they can determine if a teacher is eligible to return to work. This is driven largely by um, the IRS. Archuleta mm. said more than 4,000 educators returned to work this year, but 42 teachers have not filled out those forms and are required to pay the money back. When mm. someone violates the return to work rules or statutes is we are required to go back there and recoup the payments that are made to these individuals during their period of ineligibility. And wow. for some, it has been a big bill. We had two violations last year. One was recouping $39,000 and another at $25,000. Because they ain't signed the paperwork? So if you're taking a pension that is less than $2,000 for a person that's making less than $1,000 a month, just to help substitute teach that is a negative impact on them and their family. State yeah, Treasurer no Laura sense. Montoya sits on the ERB. She has to vote on whether teachers who did not fill out the form should be forced to repay their pensions. She's been voting no. However, she has not been in the majority. I think sometimes it's that they don't know about it. It depends on the school district. Some people have stated that it's in the application process that if you've retired, please fill out the return to work paperwork. Other ones say that it's not in there at all, so they're just unaware. She's wanting school districts mm. to make sure it is written in the application that teachers must fill out this form before returning to work. She's also wanting the state to change these rules that say the educators shall pay their retirement back if they're ineligible. I understand what the rules are there for, but I know that it's wrong. And the cases that we're seeing, we also have to have logic as to why this rule was intended to be there and how do we implement it, change it, fix it, edit it to be able to accommodate the current circumstances that we're in, which is yeah, a like, teacher shortage. Like this is crazy. There is a shortage. And I do understand that we have rules and regulations and all that fly stuff right there. But listen, you all knew that I was retired when I had done filled out the application and had done came back. So now you all want us to fill out the paper to let you know that we was retired and we coming back to do the job, but now you got to let me know or us know whether we is able to come back and teach when y'all screaming about a teacher shortage. If I'm not able to come back and teach, make it to I'm not able to teach because of my because of my 
cognitive problems or something like that, or I may have um, accrued some felonies or something like that. Not because I get a damn pension or something. Since you all, since you all say, come on back and keep your pinch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. There are about a thousand teaching vacancies in the state right now. Hey, if you have a tip for Target 7, call the... We ain't got no tips right now, though, Playboy. But but listen, listen. They having a problem with recouping 39 and 25. And I'm pretty sure it's lower numbers, but they want some money back from a whole bunch of dollars on teachers. I don't think that the teachers need to be, need to be repaying-ish. They don't need to be repaying nothing. Y'all got damn problem. Y'all ask for people to come on now to help out the community and the schools and while helping themselves. Like, it make no sense. The lady had done said that, um, like, if you make less than $2,000 and then you come back and you make it like $1,000, like, it don't make no sense. Hold on, hold on, watch this. Hold on. Let's hear it again. Last year, one was recouping $39,000 and another at $25,000. So if you're taking a pension that is less than $2,000. you're taking a pension less than $2,000. He said, no wonder the teachers are hunting the students say they have nothing to lose. There it is. If you is collecting a pension that's less than $2,000. For a person that's making less than $1,000 a month just to help substitute teach, that is a negative impact on them and their family. State yeah, so they're saying if you make a certain pension, then you can't return back to work. But why would a person come back to make um to work part time as a substitute and make a thousand dollars, supposed to continuously getting their damn pension? Like it just don't make no damn sense. But who made the rules? People with PhDs and degrees. Treasurer Laura Montoya sits on the ERB. She has to vote on whether teachers who did not fill out the form should be forced to repay their pensions. She's been voting no. However, she has not been in the majority. I think that's a good thing. I never even thought about that right there. He say, be funny. You come back to work again. You get fired and lose your pension. Wow. I wonder. I wonder if that's in the paperwork. I wonder if that's in the paperwork. If you come back to work and you get fired or terminated for touching the churn or some flat like shit or fighting the child or something, and now you get fired, do you lose the pension that you had before you came back to work? I wonder if that's in the paperwork. Hey, that's it. I'm gonna just say, I don't believe that that's in the paperwork. They had 4,000 teachers come back to work after being retired. I can almost believe that that's not in the paperwork, but come on now, we don't read paperwork. <laughs> we do not read the rules and the regulations out here. Oh, but they do have the teachers union, so maybe they would not lose their pensions. Because that's really something to put on the line. I'm not finna go back. Bitch, I made it all these years to my pension, and I'm finna go back and put my pension at risk? Oh, hell no. I don't think any of them will sign up for it, but hell, you never, never know. Moving right along. Shout out to all the teachers out here in these creeks trying to teach our churn.